In this video, we'll study about the spinothalamic pathways. The spinothalamic pathway is a group of nerve fibers that runs in the anterior and lateral part of the spinal cord and carries the information like pain, temperature, pressure, and crude touch to the brain. Now, this is the cross section of the spinal cord showing the position of the spinothalamic pathway. It is made up of two distinct nerve fiber tracts anterior spinothalamic tract and the lateral spinothalamic tract. The anterior spinothalamic tract carries the sensation of crude touch and pressure, whereas the lateral spinothalamic tract carries the sensation of pain and temperature. Now, Before progressing further, it is important to understand the concept of laminae of spinal cord, also known as the rexid laminae. This is a section of central butterfly-shaped gray matter of the spinal cord, which is divided into 10 laminae named 1 to 10 from posterior to anterior. For the spinothalamic tract, we are mainly concerned with the first four laminae. Lamina 2 is known as the substantia gelatinosa and lamina 3 and 4 collectively are known as the nucleus proprius. Now this is the dorsal nerve root of the spinal cord and the neurons present in it are the pseudo unipolar neurons. These are the first order neurons of the spinothalamic tract. The peripheral process of these neurons carries the information from all these receptors and the central process of these neurons relays this information into the spinal cord. Now the central process which brings information from pain and temperature receptors forms a lateral spinothalamic tract and these nerve fibers first relay in the second lamina of the spinal cord. Whereas the nerve fibers which bring information from the crude touch and pressure form the anterior spinothalamic tract and these relay into the third and fourth lamina of the spinal cord. In these laminae, these neurons form synapses with the second order neurons, which immediately cross to the opposite side of the spinal cord and travel up to the thalamus on the opposite side of the spinal cord. So now we know how the first order neurons of the spinothalamic tract relay into the spinal cord and form synapses with the second order neurons. Let's further understand how the spinothalamic tract is organized up till the brain. Here you see multiple cross sections of spinal cord from lumbar spinal cord up till midbrain and a section of cerebrum and thalamus. The spinothalamic tract begins when the nerve fibers from the upper and lower part of the body enter the spinal cord at respective levels. The nerve fibers from the lower part of the body enter at the lumbar spinal cord, form synapses in the rexid laminae of the spinal cord. From here, second order neurons arise which cross to the opposite side and form the tract which travels up to the thalamus on the opposite side of the spinal cord. In a similar way, the nerve fibers from the upper part of the body enter at the cervical spinal cord, cross to the opposite side and travel till the thalamus. In the thalamus, the second order neurons form synapses with the third order neurons. These neurons project to the primary sensory cortex of the brain. This area is also known as the postcentral gyrus where all these sensations are perceived. So this was a brief overview about the spinothalamic pathway. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos and make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.